Hello, 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 everybody. It's How To Tuesday. Yes, we're doing doggies tonight. Dog, doggy, 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 doggy. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to show you everything I know about painting our little furball friends, our little loved ones. So, uh, say hello if you're painting with me tonight. Hey, 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 Kel. How you doing, sweetheart? So, my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. This is a practice session. Hello, Linda. And uh, so we're not painting an actual painting. We're going to practice how to paint our puppies. Puppies in the house. Oh, yeah. And speaking of which, let's say hi to the Mr. Butters. Say hi, Butters. Say hi to your fans. You got treats coming. There you go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Butters, 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 butters. There you go, buddy. There you go, sweetie. Right, we all have our furball friends. And yes, Michelle, may the fourth be with you too. <laughs> get all our get all our geek out of the way. Right, right, right. It is May 4th. So Star Wars, hello. So say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me, if you're practicing with me tonight. So far we got Kel on deck. Hello, Kelly. And Linda is here. Hi, Linda. And Tammy's in the house. Hello, Tammy. How you doing, sweetheart? And Michelle on deck. Hello, Michelle. Michelle's already with the fourth. <laughs> How you doing, Michelle? So, hello, 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 everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, so, let's see. I have all sorts of brushes going on here. Um, I'll let you know which one I'm going to be painting with. Uh, I got some palette knives out. You know, you never know. And, of course, Mr. Nifty is in the house. So, some of you awesome, amazing people that have sent me support got themselves Mr. Nifty. So, here he is. That is his name. I finally thought of a name for him. You know how I name my brushes. We got Big Boy, Tiny, Mini Me, Fluffies, and now Mr. Nifty is part of the fam. That's just because I'm strange. <laughs> Uh, Linda, you got bad weather? Oh, no. Well, hang on as long as you can, sweetheart. Hang on for as long as you can. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to pour my paint. Same colors every single time we hang out. Black, white, red, blue, and yellow. And I'm going to put you all in your handy-dandy holder. So, if you're practicing with me tonight, awesome. This is your practice session. So, if you have any questions for me... Now's the time to ask. I am your artist. And just remember, all my videos are kid-friendly, so make sure you keep your commentary. Behave. <laughs> Behave with the commentary, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> all right. Yes, Linda, hang on as long as you can. All right, so I'm going to put you in the handy-dandy holder. And I already painted my canvas, uh, put some blue paint on there. I just mix some white and blue together just to get our initial layer of paint on there. This way the canvas is more smooth, a more smooth surface to work with. And I will figure out how, how to talk eventually. I will, I will. I promise you. I promise you. So, some of you guys commented on what puppies you'd like to see tonight. So, we have a little running list going. So far, I have uh, Chihuahuas, I have Boston Terrier, uh, Magna wants to see Coco, I don't know what kind of dog Coco is though. I hope you guys have um, your Google up, your Google images, right? That's how we, we all need a reference, it's okay, you don't have to paint out of your head, you know, like if you're not there yet, you're not there. I'm not there with everything, there's some dogs, I have no idea what they look like, <laughs> so I have to look them up, right? got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. So, we're not the dog whisperers. We don't know what uh, every single dog out there looks like, do we? No. <laughs> Hounds. A Dachshund, the Chihuahua, a Yorkie. Linda's got the, uh, the list. Oh, no, Penny. What happened, Penny? Prayers for Penny. Penny's, uh... Penny's uh, stuck in the hospital there, I see. What's the matter, Penny? What happened? What happened? Tell us what happened. We got to send you some prayers. Linda's got the Dachshund, the Chihuahua, and the Yorkie. Kelly's saying hounds. <laughs> and 
prayers for Penny. I hope everything's all right, sweetheart. I hope everything is a-okay for you. All right, so I have my paint poured, right? Yellow, red, blue, black, and white. Oh, no, icky, icky, Penny. No, no, no. Get those antibiotics up in you. Kick that, kick that infection, all right? Sending you prayers and love and comfort and peace, and I hope that you wind up being okay. So I am going to um, start you guys off. Holly Shelties. <laughs> I guess we're going to have a doggies part two. <laughs> There's going to be a doggies part two. Husky. <laughs> you guys are on point. Look at you guys go. There's so many little loved ones, right? All our little furry friends. Hi, Lynn. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing, baby? Right? So we have so many furry friends. We're going to be happy. We're definitely doing a doggies part two. That's for sure. That is for sure. So. I know Kim asked for a Chihuahua, and um, Magna asked for Coco, and, and Cindy asked for, um, I don't know what kind of dog that was, Cindy. Oh, Lynn, I know, it's so hard. It's so hard. Uh, losing a pet is 6,000 times harder. I, I don't know. I... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Prayers to you too, sweetie. It's so hard losing a pet. It's the worst. I don't know. Sometimes I think losing a pet is worse than losing a human. Yes, I said it. I said it. Oh, no. Oh, prayers for you, Lynn. I know how tough it could be. I know how tough that could be. So, prayers sent out to you, Lynn. I hope you find some comfort and peace. <laughs> Tammy's just going on and on with her list of different types of dogs. I love it. I love it. Right? You guys agree? Right? I'm not a bad person for saying that. Right? It's the truth. It's the truth. You know, some, you know, losing, losing a pet is, uh, sometimes harder than losing a human. So, um, prayers to you, sweetie. Uh, I hope you find some comfort and peace soon. And, um, prayers out to, prayers out to Penny. And I just hit a button, so let me hit the button so you can see again. <laughs> yes, they are. They're extremely loyal. All right, so got my handy-dandy canvas. I'm working on a 16 by 20. doesn't really matter because we're just doing practice. So I got. hope you guys had your media pads out, got everything you're working with. And, of course, what are we going to start with, right? I'm going to turn around and I'm going to map. I'm going to map out my animal shapes, right? So let's see. Let's see what brush I want to pick up here. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the Chihuahua for Kim. Kim put in the comments that she'd like to see a Chihuahua. So we're going to start off with that. And I think I'm just going to start off with a tiny. <laughs> right, Lynn? There's no coincidences. Coincidence. Coincident, <laughs> coincidences, right? <laughs> so it's you know it it's just it, it is what it is, and you know I always I always this is the one thing I'm gonna say is that I just remind myself that I was blessed to feel great love, and that's why I wind up feeling great sadness when I lose when I lose a pet or I lose a, a person. So. Just uh, try to remind yourself that you were blessed with great love, and that's why you wind up feeling great sorrow. And it helps me. So I hope that helps you, sweetie. I hope that helps you. Okay, so we're going to start off with a chihuahua, and I'm going to be mapping. So I'm just grabbing, uh, I'm grabbing Tiny here. Tiny, the ones we use for the paint parties, right? Totally true. And I'm going to grab white paint because I'm going to map first. I'm going to map out my shape first. And those of you that remember the animals video, I did that one little crazy, like, symbol thing, right? So we're going to do the same thing. And the whole point is, though, hey, hey, Hannah, how you doing? Hannah, you popped on, and I'm going to do, I'm about to do a chihuahua. <laughs> how you feeling tonight, Hannah? How you feeling? I was just about to do a chihuahua, Hannah. That is so, 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 so funny. So funny. 
<laughs> Great. So you're going to do that little shape, but what you want to pay attention to when you're doing dogs and dogs of different breeds is that from their eyes to their nose is a certain amount of space. So when you do the symbol that I showed you guys on the animals video, you want to make sure that you're making the straight line, the amount of space between their eyes and their nose. So a chihuahua has a very small amount of space between its eyes and its nose. So I'm going to do that. And nobody saw the animals video. This is the shape. Marsha's here. Hey, Marsha. So you're going to do a straight line. All right. And this is going to be a short straight line because like I just said, the distance between the eyes and the nose on a chihuahua is very, very short. Okay, and then we're going to do this guy. Remember, this is what I drew for the animals. So it's kind of like um, a little Greek symbol there. And then you do another little thing just like that. Okay, so when you're doing this, you want to make sure that, you know, you're watching that distance between eyes and nose. That's what you want to watch out for, all right? So there's very little distance between the eyes and the nose of a chihuahua. Okay, another thing that you want to pay attention to for your next step is you want to pay attention to where the eyes are positioned on the face. So we have these two little humps here, and that's going to be where our eyes are going, but we want to make sure we pay attention to where their eyes are on their face. So... Chihuahua's eyes are actually almost on the edges of their faces. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go to the furthest point on this on this little symbol that I made. I don't know. I want to call it a T, but it's not really a T. I don't know what it is, but this is the this is every time I do an animal face, this is what you draw. This is what you draw, and this way you get to put your eyes where they need to be. You get the distance between the eyes and the snout, and you have where your cheeks are going to be or your muzzle. Okay, so it's the same symbol every time. It's a line, it's a hump this way, a hump that way, and then one here and one here. So that is the shape that you want to remember. And like I said, you adjust this accordingly depending on the distance of where the eyes are from the, the nose. All right, so now that I have where my eyeballs are on my chihuahua, now I'm going to draw in the rest of the shape of the head. Okay, so I'm going to do his little snout. All right, so here's his little snout right there. And then I'm going to follow the snout up. Right, and then we're going to follow the snout up on this side. Just like that. And then, then the next thing you want to pay attention to is how far down are the eyes from the forehead. So if you guys aren't catching the gist here, the positioning of the eyes. Yeah, right? I don't know what to call this little sucker, but this is this is what you want to remember. <laughs> I want to say like a pie, but pie doesn't have this here, and it's not a T. I don't know, but that's what you want to remember when you're drawing animals, an animal's face. That That's, that's what's always helped me. So, the next thing you want to pay attention to is how far the eyes are from the top of the head. All right? So, if you're not getting the gist here, where you place your placement of your eyes is pretty much the make it or break it of, of painting any animal, and especially puppies. All right? Especially our little doggy, our little furry friends. All right? So, on a chihuahua, he's got lots of forehead. And you let me know if I'm uh, messing this up, Hannah, since you own three of them. <laughs> so they got lots of forehead going on, right? And then the next part is the ears. So his ears follow up from the side of his head. Swoop, and go straight up. And then the side of his head here. Swoop, go straight up. And then we're going to bring it down. We're going to bring it right down. And just like that. You have your basic things of what you need to paint your Chihuahua. So once you get this into place for yourself, it's it's all it's all pretty simple from here. Now you're just going to do fur and you're going to do markings, and and that's it. That's all you need to worry about. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to make myself um, I'm going to make myself a brown, right? So let's make ourselves a brown. So I'm going to uh, grab some yellow. 
I'm going to grab some red. I'm going to grab some white. And that's going to make like a peach. And I'm going to grab some blue. Right? So this, and if it's coming out looking a little too green, you got to add more red, more yellow, more white. Whatever. Just keep playing. Just keep playing until you get like a brown color. That's all. That's all I'm doing. Hey, 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 Lisa. How you doing, sweetheart? So I'm just, I'm, I got like a beigey color. That'll work. That'll work for a chihuahua too. You know, I'm not, I don't have a particular chihuahua in mind, so I don't have to worry about matching my colors up to anything in particular. So if I was painting somebody's chihuahua, if I was doing a commission piece to paint their pet, then obviously I would make my colors match the colors of the pet. But since we don't have any particular chihuahua we're worrying about, I really don't have to stress too much on my shade of color that I get. Hi, Carrie. How you doing, sweetie? Hey, hey, Lisa. How you doing, guys? So, Lisa, we need prayers for Penny. And we need prayers for uh, Tammy. And I don't know how Hannah's feeling. Hannah's on here, too. Not really sure how Hannah's feeling. And Carrie's saying hello. Hello, Carrie. Welcome to the fam, hon. Welcome to the fam. Uh, oh, prayers for Lynn. Sorry, not Tammy. Prayers for Lynn. Well, Tammy, we'll give you prayers, too. <laughs> we'll give you prayers, too, sweetheart. Why not? <laughs> We're just going to give prayers to everybody. That's all there is to it. All right, now that I got my brown, next thing that you want to remember, so let me bring you close up since I got my chihuahua head going on over here. So, next thing you want to remember is direction of fur. You want to remember direction of fur, right? So, there you go. So, we'll get, every, everyone's getting prayers. Lynn's getting prayers, Tammy, Penny. Heck, we'll just give everybody prayers. We'll give Kelly, Linda, Tammy, Michelle, Lynn, Hannah, Penny, and Lisa. And... Carrie, who just said hello, we'll give everybody prayers. I'll get prayers too. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Right? <laughs> so, I'm just going to, now you just want to put your fur on in the direction of the fur. So, I'm just doing little flicks, and the fur that's, there you go, see? And the fur is going to go upwards on the top of his head. So I'm just doing little flicks. That's all I'm doing. I'm just doing little flicks. That's it. That's all we're doing. Just little flicks. Do, 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 That's all we're doing. Just flicking fur around. <laughs> you guys are welcome. <laughs> so we're just flicking fur around. That's all we're doing. And then I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make this a little lighter. So I'm gonna grab some white in this brown. I'm going to grab some white with this brown that I that I made. And right around the eyes, they have the little uh, eyebrow thing going on. That's lighter. So I'm going to flick that in. I'm going to flick that lighter shade of fur in here. All right, just flick it around. That's all we're doing. And then his muzzle. His muzzle is really, really tiny. His muzzle's really, really tiny. So we can put in, notice I'm going around, right, because it's the muzzle part. So that's really, really, really tiny because everything on a chihuahua is tiny. And then let's follow some of this fur out this way. And they have really short, short fur. So you don't really have to worry about, you don't really have to worry about this too much because their, their fur is really, really short. All right. And then I'm just going to grab my darker brown again and I'm going to fill this in. So you guys get the gist, right? So we're just filling this in. And we're going to file this down to the snout area. All right, so I'm just filling this in with fur. And all I'm doing is doing little flicks with my brush. You see me, I'm just flicking my brush up because I want to, you know, you want to follow the direction of the fur. That's what you want to do. You want to follow the direction of the fur. Okay. So we're following the direction of the fur. All right, got some globs on there. So I'm just going to smoosh that on here, fill this all in. 
like I said, Chihuahua fur is very, very short. So you can even do like little mush, mush back and forth. <laughs> right, Hannah? So I'm doing good then. If it looks like one of your Chihuahuas, that means I'm doing good. So you can even do like little mushes back and forth because their, their fur is really, really, really short. All right, I lost my eyebrows. So let's put the eyebrows back in. All right, grab some white paint. Grab some white paint with that. Put some eyebrows back. Put our eyebrows back in. Okay, and we're going to add more to the, the snout here. And then I'm going to grab um, some red with that brown. And some white, some red and white with that brown. And I'm going to do the inside of the ears. So I grab some red and white to give it kind of like a pinky hue for inside the ears. You know, just to give it a little bit of like a, a, a skin pinky kind of feel to it. Because their ears, inside their ears is, um, you know, just their, their base skin tone. So I just made it a little bit of a pinky, pinky tone going in. That's all. So now... Honestly, now you're just adding layers of color and playing with the colors and playing with the markings and that's all you need to do, right? So this is the inside of his ear, so I'm going to put that in. All right, I'm going to wipe off my brush. I'm going to grab that brown that I had before. I'm going to do the outside part of his ear, right? So we got to do the outside part of his ear with the brown. So put that in there. And then, now, remember guys when I said about painting, like the more and more layers and the more and more details you add, the more realistic it's going to start to look for you. So that is like my first layer. So we're going to leave it at that. And then you want to turn around and let that dry. And then we could add more layers onto it into a minute so we're gonna let that dry we're gonna give that a minute to dry and we're gonna start another puppy All right so we're gonna give another puppy a chance to uh, hang out so we'll work on the two puppies and I might as well use the uh, symbol I used before so I might as well use the symbol I used before and somebody asked me for a Boston Terrier So, let's do the Boston Terrier. Right? So, I'm going over to my Google Images, and I'm, I'm picking up my Boston Terrier. Now, Boston Terrier, its proportions are pretty much really, really close to a, a Chihuahua's proportions. Tell you the truth. So, his eyes are really, really, really close to the nose. There's not much distance between the two. So, this line is too long, so I'm not even going to use this. Hi, Margaret. How you doing, sweetie? So, and if it looks close to your Roscoe, that means I'm doing pretty good with that Chihuahua, huh, Hannah? All right, so I'm not, so I'm going to draw my little symbol, um, which we don't know what it is, but that's what I'm going to draw, right? And his eyes are really close to his nose, so the line is going to be really short, really, really short, okay? And then we're going to go this way and this way. And we're going to go this way and this way. Okay? And the eyes of a Boston Terrier are pretty much on the side of his face, too. So we're going to put the eyes in there. Right? And then, once we had that, we can draw the snout. So their snout is wider on the bottom. So you want to make sure you get the wide piece of the snouts, right? Because their snout is wider on the bottom. So this little cheek thing is actually going to be the whole piece. Remember on the Chihuahua, we made it very, very narrow. So on the Boston Terrier, it's going to be wider. That's all, because they have a wider chin. And once you have that, you're going to follow along this line. You're going to bring it up. It's 
on the side of his eye, right? Because his eyes are on the side of his head too, right? So Boston Terriers, Bulldogs, Chihuahuas, right? Their, their eyes are all on the side of their heads, okay? And then the forehead distance. Remember, you got to pay attention to the forehead distance. So they got a big old forehead too. They got a big old forehead too. So you want to make sure you give them a big old forehead, right? Just like that, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And his ears go straight up from the side of his head. It has like a little niche in it. So we'll put the little niche, right? So a little niche there. And then it's going to go swoop, straight up. Oop, that's a little little long. <laughs> that was a little long. <laughs> his ears aren't that high. <laughs> right? That's what spit's for, right, guys? <laughs> All right. So put this up this way. Right, and we're going to turn around and put the little niche here and put this up this way. And then that arches in. And it arches in on this side. Okay, so we have that part. And then we're going to fill this in white because their markings are black and white. So I'm going to do the white markings over around here. All right, I'm just filling in the white around the snout. And then... It comes up in here. All right, so now I'm just filling in the markings of a Boston Terrier. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to bring the white up into his forehead right here. So we're going to bring the white up into the forehead right there. Okay. And then he has, like, his, his cheeks droop a little bit. His little lip flaps. The little puppy lip flaps, they droop a little bit. So we're going to put a little indent there. And we're going to put a little indent there. Because they got lip flaps. They're little lip flaps. Their little lip flaps are going on. Right? Make sure I have the shape of my ear pretty good for what the shape of an ear of a Boston Terrier looks like. So... Again, guys, we're just following shapes, and you want to make sure you get those proportions right. As long as you get those proportions right, the rest of this is simple. It's just adding fur, adding markings, and you have yourself the dog. So it's not like it's uh, rocket science over here. It's puppy science. We're doing puppy science instead. So I'm going to take my uh, mini-me, my small flat brush, and I'm going to grab my black paint now. I'm going to grab my black paint and I'm going to turn around and put the black part up over his head here. And we're going to fill in over here. Right around the eyeballs. So, and is it mixing with my, uh, my white? Yeah, it is. Am I okay with that? That's fine. <laughs> right, Marcia? So as, as long as you have, as long as you get those proportions right, once you put in your markings, you're going to have whatever dog you're trying to draw. So it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And like I said, as you're doing the fur and you're doing the markings, the more uh, details you add and the more layers you add, the more realistic it's going to look. So we're just going to add um, the black over on this side. Come around his eye here. Okay, put that all in, and I'm just going to zigzag between the two furs. All right, and we're going to put the uh, black line here on that one side of his ear, and then we're going to put it over here. And around the edge. Right? And you could do nice soft lines. If you notice, like, I'm not, I'm not drawing a hard line like this. If you notice, I'm, go, I'm doing, like, little zigzags, and I'm making very soft lines. Because this is all, like, fur. So you don't have to have a hard line. Hi, Magna! How you doing? So you don't have... Magna, you have to tell me what kind of dog Coco is so I can look up a picture. So I can look up a picture on my uh, Google Images of what Coco is. You have to tell me what kind of dog she is. Okay, so I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to do the little pinky color. So I'm going to grab some white and some red. 
Grab some white and some red, and I have the dirty white and red from doing the Chihuahua before. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to do the pinky color in here. So we're going to do the pinky color in here on the side of the ear, and then pinky color over here on this, this side of the ear. Right, just add, just added a little white and red to my to my messy brush. Coco is a havapoo. Oh, I'm sorry, got it wrong. Havanese and poodle, but his face looks more like a poodle though. Okay, so I'll totally have to check that out. And Michelle doesn't know what's happening with your phone. It keeps freezing up and it's driving you bonkers. You'll have to watch later. Okay, Michelle, you have a great night. <laughs> Yep, and I'll have to look up a, a, a have a poo. Let me write that down. Because you know I can't remember anything. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Alright, so. Now I'm going to grab my darker black paint. And then I'm going to do the fur going into the ear section, right? So, remember, I said you follow the direction of the fur. So, the ear fur... Is going to cut into the ear like that right so I'm just going zigzagging my brush back and forth and then over here on this side I'm gonna zigzag my brush back and forth into that little bit of pink and on the way out all right and a very light light touch I'm doing a very light touch and I'm honestly I'm not stressing over how much paint is on my brush because I'm doing a soft touch. Everything's soft and light and fluffy. Because they're furry. And that's what we love about them, right? They're just our little fur balls. So I'm just, I have the, the darker paint. So now I'm just going to define my ear a little bit better. Right? This part would be darker in here. And this part would be darker in there. So, and that that's really the whole the whole gist of it. And then... You know, once this dries, then you could add more and more layers of it. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Um, I always wanted a Boston Terrier. I never got one. I wound up with butters. <laughs> so, and then they have, um, you know, they have a little black on their snout here, right? So I'm going to do their little snout. Put a little black. And then I'm going to add his nose. Right? So we're going to add his nose in. And then the eyeballs, right? So we're going to add the eyeballs in. But I want this to dry first. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the, the uh, eyes on the puppies, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do the eyes on the puppies. Right? So, um, yeah, Butters is da Dachshund and uh, Jack Russell. That's what Butters is. Okay, so there is our Boston Terrier. And we can come back and do some details. So our Chihuahua is nice and dry. The Chihuahua's nice and dry, so let's head back up to uh, Mr. Chihuahua here. Our Mr. Chihuahua hanging out. If I can get some earthquake and close up. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying, the rug is all tangled up and, and, and the, ed, the edge keeps lifting up on me and I can't move the, the camera stand. <laughs> this is the issues I'm having. All right, there. Back to Mr. Chihuahua. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I know. I need help. All right. So brush in the water. Let's add our final details to Mr. Chihuahua. Okay. So I'm going to check out his bug eyes here. Add his little lip pieces. So I'm going to go down to my um, back to tiny. Swirl tap dab and tiny. Okay. And I'm going to mix a little bit of uh, black with that brown. So I'm going to grab some black. And I'm going to grab some of that brown that I made before. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to put his eyeballs in. And they have big old bug eyes. So I'm going to put his eyeballs in. Right. And I'm just doing a scribble circle. That's all I did. Scribble circle. Just like that. So, and then I'm going to grab some more of that brown, and I'm going to put in his nose. So I'm going to put in his nose. 
right? And they have that like little mushroom shaped nose. Looks like a little mushroom puppy's noses. So got the little mushroom nose and then I'm going to put some darker coloring on these both sides so his snout really shows up. So I'm just taking this dark color I did his nose and I'm adding some of the darker coloring in here. Okay? So this way his snout really shows up. So I'm just very lightly just smushing the paint around. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just smushing paint around, keeping it soft, and I'm just adding darker color in there. Just adding darker color in there, right? Because his snout, I want his snout to come out further, and then I'm going to grab my light brown. After I smush that darker color, I'm going to grab my light brown, and I'm going to smush some of the light brown to get this to all blend together. So I'm just moving my, if you see me, I'm just moving my hand back and forth. I just grab my light brown and I'm smushing it into where I did the dark brown. I'm doing a very light, light, light touch. Very light touch. Smushing this all around. I'm going to grab my light brown again and come up the uh, forehead here. So I still have the dark on my paintbrush, but I'm grabbing the light brown and mixing this in. If you notice, I'm just smushing the paint around. I'm just smushing the different colors for the different markings on the Chihuahua. So, it's all I'm doing. It's all I'm doing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just smushing paint around, putting another coat of fur on there. Hey, 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 Tracy. How you doing, sweetheart? You want to do a portrait of your bulldog Daisy and your cats? Okay, Tracy, go for it. Go for it. So, obviously, if I did dogs this week, what am I going to do next week, guys, for How To Tuesday? What's next week? Who can guess? Because <laughs> everybody's asking me for them. Of course, I did the doggies first because I'm a dog owner. <laughs> but who can guess what's going to be How To Tuesday next week? Right? Cats, you got it, Magna. You got it, sweetheart. Cats is going to be next week. So I'm going to lighten the fur for a snout. And I'm coming down in a triangle. If you notice that, I made a triangle shape. Okay, so the triangle shape. Like that. And I'm just, that's right. You guys got it. Good job, Cal. Good job, Magna. All right, Lynn. All right. So I just grab lighter brown to put on the top part of his nose. That's it. And then I'm going to put in his uh, little lips here. So I'm going to grab that uh, black paint with a little bit of the brown. Right, so the black with the brown. You know, I'm going to give that a little smush smush to make sure it's dark enough. Because I want to make sure it's nice and dark. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put in his little piece for underneath his nose and put in the piece over here and the piece over here for his little mouth just like that and then for the eyeballs I want to grab um, we're gonna grab Mr. Nifty we're gonna grab Mr. Nifty so if you guys didn't get yourself a uh, uh, well, I'm allergic to cats, so this that's why I'm a little biased. I feel really bad because I can't love on them. So, I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty for his eyeballs here. So, you guys want to get a Mr. Nifty, uh, somebody t give them a heads up on how to get him. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Well, coming from you, that's good because uh, you're the Chihuahua expert. So, I'm grabbing Mr. Nifty, a very fine point here, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to put the whites of the Chihuahua's eyes in. So, I'm going to put the white part of his eye in. Right, so the whole side of his eye, because their eyes kind of go out from the side of their head, so th this is going to be white in there. And it's going to be white in here. So, I'm, I'm putting the white of the eyes in. 
and it looks a little weird right now but that's okay that's okay so I'm putting a lot of white on this side and just a little bit of white on that side and yeah uh, I'm actually allergic to dogs too but since I grew up with dogs my whole life um, I don't uh, react to them but my doctor did my blood work and I'm actually allergic to dogs too like in my blood work so now I'm just grabbing black paint and I'm just fixing my uh, eyeball circle I'm just fixing my eyeball circle and then I'm gonna take <laughs> then I'm gonna take that black and that brown I take that black and that brown and I'm going to um, paint in I'm going to paint in where their eye, you know, the um, the eye socket part. The, you know, the outside part of the eye, this the, the round part outside the eye, this part. You know where we put our mascara and uh, eyeliner on. That part. So, I'm just taking the dark brown that I made and theirs is a very round shape. So you just want to follow the shape. It's a very round shape. So just grabbing that dark brown. Coming over here. Grabbing some of that dark brown and black together. All right. And if you notice, I'm, da I'm, I'm doing dashes with my brush. I'm not doing solid lines. I'm not doing solid lines because that helps with the whole thing about it being fur. That's what helps with it being fur. You know, you just want to do these nice, soft dashes of lines. And I'm going to smooth that out a bit. I'm going to smooth that out a bit. I'm going to swirl tap that Mr. Nifty here. And I'm going to grab my white paint. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to give him a little dot. And a dot. And then a little swoop and a swoop and there is our chihuahua puppy for the most part you know like I said the more and more layers you do the the more you can add to this you know like if I wanted to let this dry and then go in with a third layer of fur I could do that I can accentuate the snout a little bit more like I can grab my lighter brown I can grab my lighter brown and come in here and accentuate his snout a little bit better. You know, so like I said before, the more layers you do and the more playing you do, you know, the better your dog is going to look. And then and then I could turn around and grab uh, some black paint and put in the little nostril holes. Right? Put in the nostril holes and then do a really, like, dark, dark line in there. Right, so this is just coming in and following the same lines that I had and just adding more and more layers. And then I could turn around and um, put the highlight on his nose. Right, so I can grab Mr. Nifty, grab my white paint, come in here and put a little choop right on the nose. So there is your Chihuahua pretty much without doing like a whole bunch of um, coats of fur okay so there is your basics of your chihuahua and now we could finish the basics of our Boston Terrier and then we can look up um, we can look up a Havapu <laughs> that's the funniest name ever so oh if you guys are pricing along with me here let me give you a minute to catch up mustard with playing with the chihuahua and checking out the Boston Terrier while I take a sip of my seltzer And we got roll call. We got Kelly in the house and Linda and Tammy and Michelle and Lynn and Hannah and Penny and Lisa and Carrie and Megna's here. So, hello fam. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I know, Magna, I have so many weird allergies, don't I? I have the strangest allergies ever. But that's okay. That's all right. No worries. Hi, everybody. So, give me a chance to catch up mustard there. And we're going to finish doing our details on our Boston Terrier. 
So, Hannah, how'd I do with my chihuahua? Pretty good? Not too bad, right? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And I have to look up a have a poo. Have a poo. We got to do a have a poo so I can get rid of my chihuahuas now. And do a have a poo just like Coco. Oh, lots of, oh, they're, they're, they're very fluffy. Okay, cool. So I can show you guys how to do uh, fluffy fur. Awesome. All right. So let's see. Let me go into images here and see if I can find one that looks like Coco for Megna. Megna, I'm going to try to find one that looks like Coco because he's black and white. Oh, he's hard to find. I found all white and I found brown. I didn't find a black and white one, though. Not one that looks like Coco. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, that's a that's a puppy puppy. Okay, same thing, though. Same difference. Hi, Kim. Hello, 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 Linda. How you doing? Thank you so much for sharing, Lynn. I appreciate it. Hello, 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 Linda. Hi, Kim. How are you guys doing tonight? This is uh, Linda number two. Linda number two in the house. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the details. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, was trying. Uh, well, I found a Havapoo, so you can make your Havapoo look like Coco and I'm gonna, I'll do a black and white one though with the browns. Okay, so our finishing details on our Boston Terrier. All right, so obviously I'm just doing like one to two layers. And like I said, the more you play with it, the better it's gonna get. So you just wanna keep, you know, it's up to you how much you wanna keep playing around to make your dogs look realistic. So I'm gonna come in with uh, Tiny, and I'm going to grab uh, some white paint here, and I'm going to come in and put my white in better, right? So I'm going to do another layer of white. Again, I'm just smushing, guys. I'm just smushing. I'm doing very soft edging, right? Having a little bit go into the black to do like a little gray scale going on. So very, very soft. Everything's soft, soft, soft. Just doing our zigzag zoo, right? Adding another layer of white on here. So I'm adding another layer of white. And then I'm going to grab a smidge, a microscopic smidge of black. Just to gray this out a little bit. Because I want his snout to really pop out. Okay, so I grab the tiniest, tiniest smidge of black. And I'm graying this part out so this way the white snout really pops. Okay, so it was a microscopic amount of black with the white. And I'm just doing this grayish tone right here. This way his snout pops out. Okay? So that wasn't very difficult, was it? And see how much his this his snout pop pops out now and comes towards you. So that's that trick right there. And now I'm gonna grab the white paint and I'm gonna bring this down. Like I said, they got the little lip flaps. They got the little lip flaps going on. Got the little lip flaps going on there. So we gotta put those in. And then I gotta put in his bottom lip. Yeah, so just do, uh, Kelly, that the blending and stuff, right? I understand completely. So you want to just do, do a little at a time. Do a little at a time and do it like layer by layer. And then this way, you can build your way up to having it the tone or the color that you want it to be. Okay, so you want to just do a little at a time. So now I'm just grabbing some black paint. So I'm going to do the same thing 
So I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom lip because obviously this is like inside, so it's going to be darker. So microscopic amount of black paint. See, guys? Look. There's hardly any paint on this brush of black paint. And then I'm going to grab my white. And small, small, small amounts of paint I'm using. I'm not using a lot of paint at all. See, there's hardly any paint on this brush. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to do a little zigzag back and forth. And get this to be a grayish color in there. And then I'm going to work my way out. And as I work my way out, I want to grab some more white paint. Now this is just white. As I work my way out and get that to be a lighter white on the bottom part of his lip. Okay, so small amounts of paint. Small, small, small amounts of paint. And then I'm going to grab that pinky color that I made. So I'm grabbing a little bit of the pinky color with a lot of white. And I'm going to put that on his little cheeks here. I'm going to put that on his little cheeks here. Okay, so that was a little bit of the pink, that pinky color that I made before with the uh, brown and the white and the red. And I'm going to put that on his cheeks. And then I'm going to grab the smallest amount of black paint. And I'm going to do the little smudges. So I'm just dabbing little smudges because Boston Terriers have like those little freckles going on on their lips. So I'm just smudging this in now. All right? And then I want to grab some more white paint and I want to fix the shape of his nose a little bit. So this is just white. I didn't clean my brush off. I just dunked it into white. I just dunked it into the white. And I'm going to really have this snout come out now by adding white, white, white on here. And then you just want to do your little zigzags to soften it out and to blend it all together. Okay? And his eyeballs, they're really bug eyes, right? They, they're buggy, 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 buggy eyes. So I'm going to take tiny. I'm going to now I'm cleaning them off. I'm going to swirl tap dab them, get all that paint that I was playing with out of my brush. And I'm going to just grab black paint. Just black now on a nice clean brush, straight black. And I'm going to do the scribble circle for the one eyeball. And then I'm going to do the scribble circle for the other eyeball. Okay, and you know, notice I'm going back and forth between the two of them to get them proportional. So you just bounce back and forth. Don't, don't do one eyeball completely and then try to do the other one. You do both eyeballs at the same time. And since I have this dark black on my brush, I'm going to come in here on the side of his face and add that dark black on the side of his face here to really get this part to go towards the back. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for two seconds. And then I'm going to add the white markings to it. And then you'll have your Boston Terrier. So I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty. Uh, one thing, guys, all of you that are amazing and you all warm my heart and the people who sent me support and got yourselves a Mr. Nifty. Um... When you uh, are painting with Mr. Nifty, clean him off and take him out of the water. Don't leave Mr. Nifty sitting in the water. They don't like that. I discovered that. So don't leave Mr. Nifty sitting in the water when you're painting with them. Give him a good swirl tap and then um, take him out of the water. Don't, let, don't leave him sitting in the cup. So I'm just taking this very, very tiny brush and I'm coming in here and I'm going to do the white. I'm going to do the white. 
And I'm going to go pretty much all the way around because they, their eyes really bug out. So I'm going to do the white there. And swirl tap dab Mr. Nifty. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that brownish black that I had. Right? So it's just, it's just a softer black. So it's not as stark. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a couple little smush smushes. To soften those lines out. Okay, soften those out, and then I'm going to grab straight black again and refix my little circles here. Just refix those real quick, and then swirl tap dab, grab my white paint, put my little life dots in, and then we have ourselves a Boston Terrier. So I'm going to put it, bam, right in the middle here. So there's his life dot. And there's his life dots, just white paint making a dot right in, in the middle of the eye. And I'm going to give a little swoop on this side and a little swoop on the side. So there you guys go. Okay. So there's your Boston Terrier. And I'm going to do the have a poo face because that's showing you fur. And then I'm going to do um, a full size um, shepherd, like larger breed dog. So, um, all right, so we'll do the Havapoo. I'll show you how to do a face of a really furry dog and show you the different techniques of having long fur. And then I'm going to do a uh, profile of a larger breed dog. I'm going to do Shepherd. <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. So I'm going to... Um, Kim, you have a black and white box. Her eyes have always been super bloodshot if she's always under the influence. <laughs> That's hysterical, Kim. Um, so then I'm going to do the full body and um, the profile of a larger breed dog. Okay? So, and, and doing the body of a dog is pretty much the same body. Um, you know, obviously, if you're doing a, a bulldog, you know, they're very wide with short legs. Um, you know, if you're doing a larger breed... Um, it's all about the same type of thing. And you know, guys, how I tell you how to break everything into shapes. So uh, let me give you a minute to catch up mustard if you're practicing along with me. So there's your little Boston Terrier. He's adorable. I want one so bad. <laughs> I, I definitely, definitely want a Boston Terrier. So, okay, so we're going to switch to the Havapoo. So what's the first thing I'm going to start with, guys, right? What's the first thing I'm going to start with? I'm going to start with white paint, and I'm going to turn around and make my little symbol, right, guys? I'm going to make my little symbol. So, and a Havapoo, from what I see here, they, they don't have much distance between their eyes and their nose either. So, I'm going to use, um, I can use this one. I can use this one. I'll use this one and I'll just shorten it. I'll just put the eyes lower. So, obviously, like, this is supposed to be where you want your eyes to go, but I'll just use this and make it lower since I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of fur. And I could show you the different fur techniques. So I'm going to grab Tiny, I'm swirl tap and dab and Tiny, and I'm going to grab my white paint, right, and I'm just going to adjust this. So here's the little, here's this part that I want to keep, and then this part is going to be shorter, and then I'm going to arch this out for our Havapu, because they don't have much distance between their eyes and their nose either. So I'm going to put it right there. And their eyes are far are closer in. They're closer in than the Chihuahuas and the Terriers. So their eyes are closer into their nose. So I'm going to put the eyeball here and the eyeball here. Right? 
and then I'm going to do the little cheek action. Right, put my little cheeks in. Right, and they don't have as much lip flaps as the... In fact, this guy should have uh, lip flaps coming down further. Like, his, his lip flaps should really be, like, down here. So, I'm going to adjust that real quick. So, I'm just going to put his little lip flaps down a little bit further. Just a little bit further down. Somewhere along the line, I lost my little lip flaps, so... There we go. That's better. See and that one little tiny detail, how it just kind of makes it just mwah, that much better? So those are the things. Those are the things you have to remember, guys. Is like sometimes it's the tiniest little details that just make all the difference in the world. And I'm going to add a little highlight to his nose because, you know, why not? I'm over here playing with him. I might as well add a highlight to his nose. <laughs> so sometimes it's that tiny little thing that just makes it that much better and you know so you want to really look at the characteristics of your furry friends you know you want to look at the characteristics of the dogs and the markings and you know the proportions you know that's all the important stuff okay so Magna we're doing your have a poo all right so there's the eyes and there's the cheeks and then their forehead is really high so we're going to put their forehead up really high. They got a lot of forehead. And their face is a little is wider around here. So I'm going to bring this down. And we're going to match this up. Right? And if and this looks all messed up, right? This looks like a big old mess. So when you're painting and, you, and you're trying to do this and you're looking at your little initial shapes here, it's okay if it looks like a big old mess. It's, it's all good. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do his little lip is down here. So it's okay for it to look like a big old mess because you're just kind of putting in your shape. And like I said, this is going to be all soft, soft, soft. So it doesn't even really matter what's going on. It doesn't matter. So, a Havapu has floppy ears that come down. So, and getting the shape and the size and where the ears are is important for the dog, too. So, a Havapu's ears kind of come down over here and over here. And then there's like a little, um, this part's kind of straight. And this part's kind of straight there. And then it comes up straight that way. Okay? So, again, I have a big old mess, and that's okay. It's all good. So, straight and straight, making this come out like that. And then I'm going to put the piece here and up. And the piece here and up. And those are the ears. So, now, my first base coat of fur is not going to be anything special. It's really not. I'm just going to turn around and I'm going to do whites and grays and, and blacks and fill this in so I have, like, where all my little markings are and my tones are. And then it's going to be the second coat when I start getting really fur fancy. <laughs> When I get fur fancy. So I'm grabbing my white. And I'm going to grab the tiniest amount of black with that. To get a grayish color. So. And I didn't over mix it. Don't over mix it. Let the magic happen on your brush guys. Let the magic happen. You don't have to. Mixy 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 your colors. So they're perfect. Just let the magic happen. See that's kind of all modeled on there. It's, it's not all mixed together. I have some white. I have some black. I have all sorts of stuff going on. Like you don't have to make it perfect, perfect. Your coloring before you paint. So I'm going to do the ears. Again, I'm going to follow the direction of the fur. So the ear fur is going to come down this way. And I'm doing the little dashes. Nice. Everything soft, soft, soft. Soft, soft, soft. Right? I want everything to stay soft, soft, soft. 
What do we want it to be? <laughs> what do we want it to be, guys? Soft. So this part of the ear fur comes straight down like that. So that ear fur comes straight down like that, and this ear fur goes out to the side. And can you see that I just did that straight down and out to the side? No. But I am already training my hand and my brain on how I want this fur to be. And then the fur from the snout always goes up. This is always an upwards direction here. Always, always, always. Every dog. Every dog. It goes up. So I'm grabbing my white and my black. That's all I'm doing. I'm just grabbing white and I'm grabbing black on my brush. That's all I'm doing. Not doing anything crazy. So this all goes up. And I'm just doing these little dashes. That's all I'm doing. I'm just doing dashes and filling it in. And figuring out my directions of my fur. And all that good stuff. And I'm going to grab. Now I'm going to grab just black with my dirty brush. I didn't clean my brush off. It's got a whole big old mess in there. And that's just the way I like it. Just the way I like it. And I'm going to turn around and put dark right in here. So I don't lose my ear. So I'm going to put dark right in there so I don't lose where my ears are. And I'm just scribbling. I'm just scribbling. And I'm going to take that dark and come down the side of the face with it. But I don't want to lose the ear compared to where the face is. So I'm going to, I just grab black paint. Now I'm going back to dipping into my white and my black together. And I'm going to come up around the eyes. Just doing dashes with my brush. That's all I'm doing. And then this fur is going to come out like this. Right? So this fur on a dog is always out to the side. So from the snout, it's always up on the forehead. And then on the side of the snout, it always goes outwards. Always goes outwards. Always, 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 always. Haven't met a dog yet where their fur does not follow that pattern. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so again, just doing dashes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's all I'm doing. Okay, and uh, yeah, so if you guys see, I just have my white and my black here, and then I have a little kind of messy thing going on here of like a grayish tone, and I'm just kind of taking my brush, dipping it into the black, dipping it into the white, doing a little mash mash, that's all I'm doing, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do her snout, or his snout, because Coco's a boy, Coco's a boy, Magnus got a little boy pup. So I'm going to do the snout part, fill in where the lip part is, do a couple little things over here because they have that little piece that grows that you have to trim that winds up covering their eyes if you don't trim it up, right? And now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let that dry to come back in and do the next layer. So as that's drying, let's do the entire big dog let's do the the um earthquake the uh <laughs> i can't seem to get this camera to work for, for the life of me <laughs> of where i want it to go <laughs> all right so i'll leave that there so you guys can practice that while i start the shape of the the big dog bringing in the big dog oh yeah the big boy okay so I'm going to take a, let's see, let's see what kind of brush do I want to work with here. So I'm going to turn around and I'm still going to work with, uh, I think I'm going to grab a mini me. 
I'm going to grab a mini me. And I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab my white paint, but I'm grabbing the messy white, the white that had the brown in it and stuff. And I'm going to grab my brown over here. So a lot of white and a little bit of that brown that I made before. And I want to do the shape of the dog. Okay. So all these big breeds, they have a swoop that goes on to do their body. So it starts up behind their ears. And then you're just going to swoop outwards. Going down. Right? So it's just start up like that and then angle downwards and swoop. So that way you have the line of their back. Okay? And then for the front line, right? So this is going to go up. And then you're going to come make a little scoop. And then bring it in. Okay, so you're just going to make a little scoop and bring it in like that. And then you want to turn around and this is where the hind leg is going to go. So you always want to have that piece of the hind leg going on. And remember, every single animal, remember when we did the animals, you come off the badonka donk and you scoop that around to the back part of the leg. Every single animal. You scoop the badonka donk right around and you put it right into the back part of the leg. Right there. So there is his hind leg. And then I'm going to come here on the front part here. And I'm going to follow this around. And this is like his little chest area. And then drop the leg down. Drop the leg down right there. And then I could bring this up a little bit and make the little triangle. Make the little triangle right like that. Okay, and the back leg has the, so this scoops around. It goes like that. And then it has the piece, the paw, like the extended paw piece or whatever, and then comes forward. So, I don't know if that's a good angle or not, because I'm painting this from the side, but it looks pretty good to me. And then I could do, I'm just going to grab more brown paint so I can, um, with a little bit of black. I'm going to grab that white brown stuff and add a little bit of black to it. So this way, when I do the other leg, I know this leg is the one that's on the other side. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to follow that same little thing. And that's going to be the leg that's on the other side. And then the same thing over here. I'm just going to put in a little piece right there. Okay. And, you know, you want to do a little paw action. You can do a little paw action. Right. And again, nice and soft with everything. Nice and soft. And I'm just going to scribble this in right here. Because I know that's going to be the darker underbelly part. So I'm just going to scribble that in. Hi, Mila. How you doing, sweetie? And then I'm going to grab that lighter brown color. And I'm going to fill all this in with the lighter brown. So I don't lose my stuff that's in the front and the stuff that's in the back. I can tell the difference between the two. So I'm just going to grab the lighter brown color. And I'm going to put in, fill this all in. And I'm just scribbling. I'm just scribbling. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just doing little scribbles. See how I have this line right here? Do our blending technique. You guys know all about our blending technique. There you go. Now it's blended together. Just like that. Do your little blending technique. That's all you need to do. nothing hard there All right you got to do that piece that piece of that uh, leg 
okay? Filling this in, following the direction of the fur, right? It's going toward, it's all going this way. And then wrap it around, and this part goes down. Right, it's doing the direction of the fur. Okay, and there you go. You have the body of, now this could be the body of a lot of different animals, honestly, you know, but I'm gonna do a shepherd but this, this is the body of a golden retriever. This is the body of, uh, you know, if you made the legs longer, it could be the body of a Great Dane. You know, it's the body, it, you know, this is the, the same animal body shape, you know, maybe with the difference of, like, the legs being a little longer or shorter. But it's pretty much all the same thing. So, if you can turn around and paint that for yourself, you can pretty much, you can do a lot of different animals. You can do a lot of different dogs, and you can do a lot of different, um, different types of animals, just with that shape alone. Right? So, now I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to grab my tiny brush. Grabbing the tiny brush, and I'm going to put his head in. So, I'm just going to grab that white and that brown that I had before. Just going to grab the white and the brown that I had before, and I'm going to put in his head. So the head's going to scoop around like this. The head's going to scoop around like that, and then this part's going to come this way. Actually, I think I want to... It's hard to tell because I'm painting from the side, so... Let me get in front of this bad boy. There we go. There it is. <laughs> There's the head. All right, so I'm going to scoop that up. Scoop this out this way. All right, put a snout on there. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Mr. Nifty. And I'm going to put my ears in. I'm just going to do those white for now. So I can definitely tell where they are. So I'm just grabbing Mr. Nifty and I'm putting in his ears. Okay. So there's the one ear. And let's say we could see the other ear too. Why not? Right? Why not? So we'll put in the other ear, right? And Shepherd's ears go like straight up and down. And then this part comes down and then his nose. Okay, so there's pretty much, right? A coyote, yep. So um, <laughs> we're definitely doing a German Shepherd. I don't know if it's the emoji or not, Magna. So, um, it de like I said, you could pretty much do like any animal following this basic shape. So this is like the basic shape of a lot of different animals. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to follow the scoop around and I'm going to put in the tail. So I just followed that scoop around and I'm putting in the tail. Okay. And let's give that a second to dry. And we'll come back over here to our Havapoo. Right? So we can, uh, I can show you all the different ways to do long fur. Since the Havapoo has long fur. Since the Havapoo has long fur, right? So. And you could turn around and you could turn around and do this like with a palette knife too. Like, so if I grab one of my palette knives. I'm going to grab this nifty one, right? Looks like a, a, a mason trowel. And I'm going to uh, grab my white paint on the tip of this. I'm going to grab my white paint on the tip of this. And you guys can do fur with a palette knife, too. So I'm just, I just have white paint on the tip of this. And I can turn around, and you just want to follow the direction of the fur. And you can do the lines of the fur... 
with the palette knife if you wanted to. So you can do a whole dog using a palette knife and have like a lot of texture in there. You can have a lot of texture in there. So you could turn around and you know, you just put the paint on the palette knife and I'm just giving a little bit of pressure and I'm just scraping it around and having it follow the direction of the fur. And since it's longer fur, I'm just going to re-dip my knife and do the same thing. So, you know, if you guys have a palette knife sitting around and you want to play with it, 6,000%, you can do fur with a palette knife. And what's kind of cool is, like, you could actually scrape in even more texture if you want to. You can do, like, little scrapes and whatnot. So... If you want to play around and you have a palette knife sitting around, you definitely play around with doing fur with your palette knife because fur is very textured. So doing it with a palette knife. See, you got all that texture in there, and, and I didn't even do nothing. All I did was scrape paint. It's all I did was scrape paint around. So it's not like I did anything fancy. I just put paint on the tip of my palette knife, and I'm just scraping it around. And you get all this cool textures going on without even trying. So, I definitely would suggest if you have a palette knife sitting around, just play with it. Play with it, trying to get all this fur to happen. Because it makes it really, really easy. And you can totally get all that texture that you need. So, there's a little tidbit for you. There's a little snippet. A little palette knife snippet for you. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go back to my uh, I'm gonna go back to my tiny brush, and I'm gonna add all the fur. So since their fur is longer, you know how I was doing like dabs before. I'm just gonna do like longer strokes with my dabs. So I'm just grabbing some uh, black and white, right? Kind of cool. So I'm just gonna grab my black and white with my gray here. And when you're doing your dabs or your fur, you just want to do longer strokes. And you can't see that. So I'm going to put black on my brush so you can see what I'm doing. So you just want to do longer strokes with your brush. See? Just do longer strokes and do like a little, put a little wave in there. So I'm just doing longer strokes and putting like a little wave in there. That's it. And you're going to fill all these in. So I'm just doing longer strokes and putting a little wave in there. I'm going to wipe off my brush and now I'm going to grab some lighter paint. And I'm going to do these waves. So I am just doing little squiggles and you want to stick and move because if you keep going over this, you're going to wind up blending it all together and then you're going to lose the separation of the fur. So you want to stick and move. You don't want to turn around and keep going over this. Because you're going to wind up losing all that, all those different colors in there are going to wind up blending together. And then you're just going to have a squiggly blob. That's all you're going to have. So you kind of want to put these in and keep it moving. And then once it dries, you can add some more. And then, you know, once that dries, you can add some more. It's really how much time and effort and how realistic you want your your puppy to be you know that's that's all on you and and what you know what you want to create and you I'm just if you notice I am just pulling and letting my brush do a little squiggle doing a little squiggle there and then a little too high so it spits for and now I'm grabbing uh, just white and I'm doing all these little squiggles Right, filling in the top of the head here. So I'm grabbing just white paint and adding these in. Just adding all these little squiggles in. That's all I'm doing. And I just keep refilling my brush up. That's it. So I'm going to um, come over here where I did my palette night stuff. And I want to just kind of clean that up a little bit. I'm going to clean that up a little bit, and they have the uh, fur 
like going up and out and around all the way. It is 6,000% all about the layers, Mila. You got it. It's all about the layers. So their snouts kind of have fur just coming up and around and all the way around. Making a big old happy, big old happy mess going on there. So, and then I'm going to grab some of my black and my white for the fur that's in here and around the eyes. So, and you can still do that as squiggles. I'm just doing it a darker color. So, you know, obviously this is going to be all covered and hidden. So, I'm just grabbing... <laughs> Thanks, Mila. No reason to be intimidated. It's, it's not... It's, um... You just got to you gotta stick and move. You got to stick and move. If you keep painting over the same spot, you're going to wind up blending it all together. So you have to kind of paint it on and then keep it moving and then let that dry and then add your next layer. And then let that dry and add your next layer. You know, depending on how many layers you want to do. And this, all I'm doing is pulling my brush nice and long and giving it a little squiggle. So when you have one of these really furry pups, you just do a little squiggle with your brush and you just keep it moving. You just keep it moving. That's all you need to do. Keep it moving. So I'm going to do really dark pieces in here because that's going to be hidden. And then I have to let this dry because it's starting to get all mushed together. Good night, Lynn. Have a good night, sweetheart. Yes, yeah, so Friday. So I'll be back this Friday. Uh, Friday, guys, did you guys uh, notice what's for Friday? Did I show you guys what's for Friday yet? So I got to let that dry a minute so I can show you what's for Friday. So Friday, da -da 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 -da, we're stepping out in style. Oh, yeah. Doing the converses. Yes, baby, stepping out in style. What, what? Right, you guys can do your sneakers and... Do whatever colors you want and if you want your girl to be wearing striped tights or the wigwams or whatever you guys want so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that on friday a lot of fun with that all right so as that's drying let's go back to our shepherd and honestly this is just filling in this is going to be really small 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 stuff and this is just keeping the areas that you need lighter light and the areas you need darker dark which I already did in my basic shape right Kel I'm telling you it's going to be so awesome which I already did in my basic shape so when I did my basic shape I put my dark areas in already so I knew what I was doing so now you just look at the markings of your dog and fill in fill them in accordingly so I'm going to make some uh some more brown here because uh, shepherds have like a tan, a tannish orangey brown. So I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm going to put some red in it. So I grab my yellow and I'm putting some red in it. And I'm going to grab the smallest amount of blue. Grabbing the smallest amount of blue and that's going to give me like a tan orangey color. And it's looking a little green so I want to grab some more red. So if it's looking a little green, grab some more red, and that gave me like a nice tan orange color. So I'm going to put that in the spots of my shepherd that are tan and orange. So they're going to go here, and again, you follow the direction of your fur. And I'm just doing dabs, nice and soft, doing all these dabs with the markings. You can do a smoother line down here because that's really short fur. So the smoother your line you're basically saying that's the smoother the fur. So, if you know it's really short and smooth like it would be on their, their leg area, you can just do a nice smooth line because obviously you're not going to see any texture in that fur because it's just way too small. It's just way too small, and I'm going to add a little bit of the... the orange back on that paw there. I'm going to add a little to the front of this paw back here. This leg. Okay, and then he has some going on right here. 
So I'm just adding the coloring in now. So and and that's the thing. Like once you have your shapes and you have your distances right, doing your little T symbol or whatever that we decided to call that thing. Um, now it's just following the markings of the animal. And once you follow the markings of the animal, you're going to be, um, you know, everyone's going to know exactly what it is. Because, you know, the coloring and the markings and the, um, that's what, you know, really defines the animals from each other. So once you do the markings of the animal, everyone's going to be like, oh, hey, that's a shepherd. Or, oh, hey, that's my doggy, you know. Like, that's how you make a dog look like a certain dog. So you start off with the general, the general shape and the general uh, fur of the dogs, and then when you want to make a dog like Kelly, you're gonna you want to do your pets. So once you get to the point where I'm at now on this shepherd, that's when you make it look like your dog. And the way you do that is you just follow the colors, you follow the markings of the dog. You follow what color their fur is, and you put that color fur in the spots that it is on your dog. Um, you know, and that's how you make a dog look like a certain dog and not just, you know. And, and that's the same with any animal. So if you're going to do any animal, once you... Ha <laughs> ha, Magna, you're still working on your Coco? Awesome, I can't wait to see it. So, um... And that's the same with any animal. So once you follow the uh, markings of the fur, it's pretty easy from there. It's pretty easy from there. So I'm just doing a little zigzag zoom. Just doing a little zigzag zoom. I, gra I grab some uh, black paint now, and I'm just zigzagging zoom, and I'm making sure I don't lose my dark areas. I'm kind of blending this all together. Right, it's going to be a little dark under his tail right there. So making that nice and dark right there. Okay, and then making a little darker right here. Making sure this part stays nice and light. You know, doing our blending technique that we do so well. <laughs> Make sure you do your blending technique with your finger. <laughs> That's what we do, guys, right? That's how we blend. That's how we blend in this family. That's how we blend. We don't have to get any tricky. We just use our fingers. That's it. I'm going to put his tail in. And then his tail has longer fur, so I'm just going to do flicks because my brush is kind of separated, so the bristles are a little separated from painting. So I'm going to do little flicks. I'm going to just gonna do little flicks. to get the furry tail okay and fill this all in and then his face the muzzle is pretty much black so we're gonna fill all that in like I said do your blending Yes, so the brown eyes of a dog will melt any heart. <laughs> the brown eyes of a dog will melt any heart. Okay, now i got to switch to my smaller brush, so I'm going to switch to uh, Nifty. So those of you who are on here don't know what I'm talking about. Anybody that sends me some support, because it's always, always free to watch, but tips are appreciated, so I'm going to post the links for that. And... I came across these little tiny brushes and they're really awesome and they have a great point on them. So to whomever sends me a tip and sends me some support, I'm sending you two of these small brushes with the amazing point on them. And I decided to call him Mr. Nifty because he is nifty. He's really cool. <laughs> So any so it's always free to watch. Um, if you would like to send some support, and um, then you can look forward to getting your brushes. Just make sure that I have your address. If you do PayPal, it, it gives me your address. But if you do one of the other um, avenues, Venmo or Cash App, just message me your address, and I will send out your thank you brushes. So that's how you wind up with Mister Nifty. Just to let you know, just a little heads up.
So, I'm going to switch to Mr. Nifty and do my ears. We're going to do my ears, so I'm going to grab that black paint and fill in my ears. Right? And I'm just going to, I'm just doing like a little zigzaggy zoo. Little zigzaggy zoo to get that all filled in there. And then I'm going to grab some of that uh, reddish brown. Of course, Cal. So I'm going to grab some of that, the red brown that I made, and I'm going to soften out this black. So this way, when I do the ear behind this in black, you're going to be able to see, you're going to be able to see the difference between the two ears like obviously this one is up front and the other one is in the back so I all I did was grab the reddish brown and I'm just softening this all out I'm just softening so I'm just painting the reddish brown over the black parts and softening that all out and now I'm going to wipe off my brush and grab just black and do the other ear behind it and this way, you can tell the difference between the two ears. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, uh, Mila. So, in this way, you guys can tell the difference between the two ears. And obviously, we just need to add his nose. And you add where his eyeballs are. And, you know, you're not going to see much detail with the face because, you know, you're not going to really be able to see the face. It's really more about the stance. And now I'm just playing. So you just want to make sure you position that accordingly. And there you have it. So there is your... <laughs> Looks like yours, Lisa. Awesome. So now you can go and go ahead and paint your dog, Lisa. <laughs> you can go ahead and paint your shepherd now. Every time you paint a dog with an open mouth or tongue, it looks rabid. Okay, so what you want to do, again, is um, <laughs> you want to make sure that uh, you keep it simple and you keep it um, small and you have to watch your proportions. So you have to watch your shapes with that because if you have your shape being a certain way, you're going to wind up, like if I wanted to turn around and make him pant, his snout's a little too long, just it's bothering me. His snout should end there, not there. His snout's a little bit long. But um, say I wanted to make him with an open mouth. All right, I'm going to do the white first because this is all dark paint and I have to be able, so I'm going to do the white first, which is going to look really, really, really silly gonna look really silly hi Cindy <laughs> and then um, now I'm gonna grab the red and you put the red in here and then you can put his tongue hanging down okay but then once you're done with that then you have to go back in. Then you have to go back in and re-put the fur around the mouth. Then you have to re-put the fur around the mouth. So, for you guys to see this better, let me uh, add my background in there real quick. So, let me just add some blue in here so you can see what I did because I smudged it with white. So let me fill this in with my background real fast. Okay, so now once you have that part, I just want to fill this. So if you guys ever mess up on your proportion, it, and uh, if you can, you know, when you when you paint a background. Um, I'm pretty good at color matching, so I don't have to do this, but when you guys paint your background, any painting you ever do, when you paint your background, save a pile of that color of paint, 
because with acrylic paint, once it dries, you can paint right over it. And if there's any shape you need to fix, you turn around and you take your background and fix it. That's how you do that. Just, just a little FYI on schmoozing your paintings and fixing any shapes you might mess up. Um, save your background color. So, I'm going to go back in and grab my red paint. And I'm going to come in here and obviously make his tongue red, not, not pink. And then once you're done with that, then you have to go back in and add the fur around the mouth. I did not do the snaggle tooth. Um, I did a Boston Terrier and a Chihuahua and a Havapu. I didn't do the snaggle tooth because I didn't know what breed dog that was, Cindy. So you're gonna have to let me know what breed of dog, and the next time I do dogs, we'll we'll do that one. We'll do snaggle tooth because he's adorable. So then once you have the mouth in there, then you gotta go back in and add add the fur back in around it you have to add the fur back in around it so this way it doesn't look rabid and like you have this big old big old mouth so I don't know if you guys can see that because it's really 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 tiny but see so you have to add the fur back in around it to set the tongue or the teeth or whatever you're doing with their mouth to set it into into place so if you just put that on there and then not take the time to put the dark fur back around it it's gonna look rabbit so whenever you do an open mouth or you do a, a panting tongue or anything like that you have to take the step to re-put the outside fur and everything else around the mouth so it looks normal. <laughs> all right. All right. So we got to finish Magnus Havapu. Ah, uh, he's so cute too. It's a puggle. Okay. So a puggle is a, I don't know what a puggle is. <laughs> What's a puggle? What is a puggle? Okay, so let me give you guys a chance to catch up mustard. I just showed you a few things so you guys can check out the shepherd. You can catch up on your Havapu. We're going to discuss what a puggle is with Cindy. Because Cindy posted this really cute picture of uh, her doggy, and he has a snaggle tooth, and he's awesome, but I didn't know what kind of dog he was. <laughs> So what's a puggle, Cindy? You gotta let me know what a puggle is. All right. So now that we're done with our, our shepherd, I'm gonna turn around and um, finish up Magnus Havapu. So if you guys have any questions for me or uh, anything that you'd like me to show you or... Um, now is the time to ask because I'm going to finish up our Havapu and we're going to be finished for the night. So, and Cindy has to tell us what a Havapu is. Okay, so um, if you have anything to ask me or something you'd like me to show you, and um, if it's a whole entire another dog, uh, you're going to have to wait for dogs part two. Because <laughs> there's only so many dogs I can paint before I start to get tired. And then I'll start messing up, and then I'll start telling you guys the wrong thing. <laughs> and you don't want me to do that. You definitely don't want me to start telling you the wrong thing. That wouldn't be very good at all. Nope, 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 nope. Not at all. See, so I have to grab my soda, and we're going to finish the uh, have a soap. So, now that this fur dried... Now you can do another layer on it, and it's not going to become a mushy mess. So that's the other thing with uh, long fur and adding all the little details and little tiny um, pieces of it is you have to let it dry in between layers completely. See that? Completely dry. Because if you don't and you keep trying to add stuff, it's just going to mush together. 
Okay, me like yeah, definitely with the bulldog. Um, you can definitely use the Boston Terrier as the reference. You're gonna do the face the same exact way. Um, it's just that their snout is even wider. So when you go to do their snout, it would be even wider than the Boston Terriers. So when you do your little that little T symbol that I showed you, and then you're doing the shape of his face, just make sure his snout is wider. Yes, always, 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 my uh, videos are always available for replay. I post the replay to the event. The replay is on my page, and it'll also be on YouTube. So, um, it's out there, girl. So, let me do a roll call. It's roll call time, because I didn't do it yet. Kelly, Linda, Tammy, Michelle, Lynn, Hannah, Penny, Lisa, Carrie, Megna in the house. Linda is here. Kim is here. Cindy is here. And Mila. You have a dog with long floppy ears, a Bichon Shih Tzu. Oh, that sounds adorable. Yeah, guys. So we're going to do a dog's part two, 6,000%. No worries on that one. Because there's like way too many dogs out there to do in one night. So I'm just going to grab my tiny brush. And now I can go in and do another layer of fur. So I'm going to turn around and um, actually I'm going to grab the um, Mr. Nifty. I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty, which I told you guys not to leave in the water. And I put him in my water and now I can't find him. <laughs> so hold on as I dig my hand into my water glass. <laughs> All right, I found him. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to grab Mr. Nifty, and we're going to do, like, detail, detail, details, okay? So I'm going to grab my, and you want to make sure your paint is nice and soft and flowing. If it's starting to get goopy, add a little bit of water to it. So I'm going to grab some water, and I'm going to add it to my white paint. And I'm just going to do a little smush, smush around and make sure it's nice and loose and thin. All right, and then I'm going to roll my brush to make sure I have it at a point grab a little bit of white paint and then I can come in here and I can start doing like really tiny details of fur so I can start adding like and again I'm doing long strokes and I'm letting my brush squiggle so I can do all those little stray hairs that kind of hang out and block their eyes and all that kind of good stuff and now, since it's completely dry, adding this extra bit of detail, you're not going to lose it. It's not going to mush out. And you can add all, like, so, you know, you could spend days painting a dog. Like, if you really, like, you ever see those dogs that are painted and they look like a photograph? Because people, um, <laughs> yep, Mr. Nifty went scuba diving. He totally did. I lost him in my water. <laughs> So, um, after I just told you guys, don't leave them in the water, what do I do? I leave them in the water. <laughs> but, um, you can spend days just doing fur, you know, so, but I'm, you know, I'm making sure it's nice and loose and thin and I'm doing little squiggles and you can do all those little scraggly hairs. And, uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the bottom lip part. So we're going to do the bottom lip part right here. And I want to make, um, so let me put the nose in. So I'm going to grab some black paint and we're going to put the little nose in here. Right, our little mushroom nose. Fill that in. Okay, so there is our little nose, right? Fill that in. Do, do, do. Okay, and now that I have the nose in, I'm going to do the little lip separation. So I'm going to grab some, uh, I'm going to grab that black paint, but I'm going to put a little bit of white with it because I don't want it black, black, black. And I'm going to come down here and do the little lip split right there. And then we could do the little do, 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 do. And do, 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 do for this part. You know, you can give them a little smile if you want to. You can have them do a little, you know, if you want more realistic. You know, kind of, it kind of droops down. You know, it's completely up to you. It's your little havapu. Whatever you want to do. And then once I have that, I can uh, clean off my brush. 
and now I could add more fur around there. So I want to do some darker fur right underneath there where the lip is. Right here, I want to do some darker fur. Okay, so I'm going to put some darker fur in there. Again, just doing squiggles with my brush and making sure my paint's nice and loose and thin. And I'm going to grab my white paint and go on top of that. So now I'm grabbing some white paint and putting the squiggles on top of that to soften that out a little bit. So you got, you know, anybody that likes this whole doing fur thing, you guys can do fur for like ever. You can just keep doing fur for days. Just take a small brush. Okay, and then I'm going to add this, this fur up here, this, the squiggles of fur up here. So you guys get the point. So when you're doing fur, you want to make sure you do your layers and you let them dry in between your layers so you don't get a big mushy mess. And, you know, when you're to the point of doing the single strands of fur here and there, uh, you want to make sure that your paint is nice and loose and you have a brush that has a nice fine tip to it. You know, you could do the fur with the palette knife like I showed you. That adds a lot of texture. Okay, and then the fur on the ears is shorter, so I'm going to grab some black with this brush and some of the white, and I'm just going to do little dabs on the ears now of the shorter fur. So I'm just going to dab that in, and I'm going to make sure I grab white for the outer part of the ear, so this way... Uh, and I'm just doing little dabs. And again, you want to stick and move. And then I'm going to make sure I grab some more black when I get to the in, inside part of the ear. Okay, so you just want to make sure you stick and move when you're doing this. Just want to make sure you stick and move. So I'm just doing little dashes. And I want to make sure I grab white for, you know, this outside part. Unless it has certain markings, I'm just going to go along with what the, the shading should be. So, we're going to put that in. And then as I get towards this, the part that's closer to the head, I want to do some darker fur. So, we're going to put that in. And if you notice, I'm just dashing paint and I'm sticking and moving. I'm not staying in the same spot twice. Yeah, I'm just trying to stick and move and not go over the same section too many times because that's just going to wind up mushing it all out. And you don't want to mush it all out. And then I have to put his eyeballs in. Hi, Mary. How you doing, sweetie? A Jack Russell and a pug. Oh, that sounds like a nifty little dog, too. <laughs> So I gotta put the uh, eyeballs in. So I'm gonna switch to uh, I'm gonna switch to tiny for the eyeballs. So I gotta put my little eyeballs in. So I'm just grabbing black paint and I'm gonna do my scribble circle. I'm gonna do my scribble circle over here. Okay, and I gotta let that dry a minute. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Uh, so, Mary, so so we have um, we have a, a running list of dogs. So we're going to, uh, when I post the event for dogs number two, which is not going to be next week because next week's going to be cats. But when I post the list for dogs number two, guys, remember all this, and then I'll do those dogs that time. Okay, guys? So there's a whole bunch of dogs out there. And I could be here for three months just painting all sorts of different types of dogs. So, so now that the eye, you know, so now I'm going to put a little highlight on the nose. Just going to put a little highlight on the nose. And then I'm going to do squiggle fur coming up and covering the eye a little bit. And squiggle fur over here. Covering that eye up a little bit. And then I'm going to make uh, a dark, dark gray. 
to fill in what I missed around the eye. So we're going to do a dark, dark gray around the eye. And notice I'm, I'm swapping back and forth between the two eyes. That's how you get your eyes to look the same. You, you go back and forth between the two of them. That's how you do that. And now I'm just going to... Uh... Thanks, Mary. So um, now I'm just going to clean off my brush. And I'm going to put my little life dots. And Magnus Habapoo is all done. Woo -woo. Oh, yeah. So a life dot there. And a life dot there. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Maybe a little swoop. And a little swoop over here. And there you go. There's our Habapoo. So, um, I hope you guys uh, learned some stuff. And I hope uh, you all had fun while we're creating and practicing together. So, I just want to thank you so much for watching me tonight. Uh, my name's E. This is East Creations Paint Party. Those of you watching the replay, thank you so much. Those of you who have sent me support, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Carrie, and thank you, Lisa, and I just want to tell you all to have an awesome evening, and I want you to uh, have fun and go create, all right? So, any last-minute questions, let me know, and I'm going to, um, thank you so much, Tammy, thanks, Linda, and uh, then we're going to be signing off, all right, guys? So, I'll let you get uh, some last looks here. Oh, thank you, Lisa, and uh, we're going to finish this thing up. Give you guys a little bit of time to catch up mustard while we're saying our goodnights. And don't forget, uh, if you send me some support to uh, send me a tip, uh, make sure I get your address so you can get Mr. Uh, Mister Nifty of your very own. <laughs> Gonna make sure you get a Mr. Nifty of your very own. So um, I'll post the links for the support again. For the tips, because art supplies aren't free, people. They are not free. And I have an art supply problem. <laughs> no, actually, I'm pretty good. No, I'm not too bad. So, but I will share the links again. And thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining me tonight. And remember all those puppies, and we'll paint them next time. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Linda. Good night, Tammy. Good night, Carrie. Good night, Mary. Night, night, Lisa. Good night, everybody. Magna, have your mom send me a picture of your uh, cocoa, okay? Good night, everybody. All right, thank you so much for watching me, and um, hope you all have a good night, and you all warm my heart. Have fun and go create, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night, Mila. Good night.